Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mark from Solar Games and today we're going to talk about the great Amazon dump. Amazon rainforest dump? No, it's a Texas warehouse, Texas landfill dump, Texas landfill dump. Yeah, so if you haven't caught up on the news, uh, our picks slash our picks, our slash picks released this picture of um, a bunch of magic products it looks like that are dumped in some sort of landfill. Now, the box shaped, it's it's the outer brown box, so not like the product inside where we can see the product and know right away what it was dumped, but it's just the outer box. But there's like five pallets full of this stuff, right? So it's a bunch of calculations done on the internet and a lot of people are like, oh, there's $375,000 worth of product right there, whatever it is. Um, the suspicion is that um, it is Modern Horizons 2. Now, is it the same box, same products out there? No clue, not enough evidence to really tell, but the original poster did also send some extra pictures of like opening a blister pack from there. It's just all kind of a little bit weird, right? So yeah, um, the pallets themselves, the boxes, they're not set boosters, draft boosters, or collector's boosters from, again, the way I'm seeing. The collector's boosters usually are pretty big, tall boxes. The set boosters and draft boosters come in like longer, rectangle shaped boxes. These are not what those shapes are. They're also not the more square but flat boxes that are the, um, not cube, just squared looking, but it's kind of short, that are pre-release kits. And they don't even look like the bundles, which again looks more like the pre-release kits, just slightly taller. I wish I had some of those in the background here to show you, but unfortunately I don't have any boxes near me right now. Um, yeah, so it doesn't look like any of those products. I think the closest one this looks like is the uh, which makes sense and reinforces the original poster's extra data, which is the blister packs that are provided for like, you know, your Walmart, Target, those stores to sell. And it did seem like during that era of Modern Horizons 2, there were some issues with um, some of these stores basically having like theft and loss. So could it be these are the return products from those stores back to Watsi and they're looking to just get rid of it because they're not really going to be able to sell this easily anyways when there's plenty of even draft and set boosters boxes at distribution. Maybe distributors don't even want this stuff. So again, it's too far. The image is so low quality. It's really hard to tell. It's too far to read the actual label. But if we had the label, we would be able to tell not only the products, but also on the label, there are a lot of other data on there too. Sometimes the labels will have a production like um, <clears throat> production like quantity. A lot of the Amazon boxes, especially for commander decks, you'll get. Sometimes you'll see X out of Y, so like so let's say three out of 1,254, you kind of know like which pallet or what box of a pallet or whatever was sent to Amazon. And so there's that kind of data just stuck stickered onto the box itself. Um, nothing like that available for us. Of course, of course, you know, conveniently the OP didn't have any like up close photos or anything of detail. Like, can you imagine you you got there, you walked up, you you pulled packs out of the boxes, but you didn't take closer picture, it just seems kind of weird, right? Like that there wouldn't be other pictures kind of proving that you were there. It's a little bit shady in that perspective. Now on the surface, it does look like Amazon's dumping boxes. I saw some comments about like whether these are full or empty, but I can tell from just the picture, the way that the plastic kind of bulges out on that um, right side palette, it does look like it's a real box, meaning it's gotta be have products inside. Could it be filled with bricks? Don't know, didn't open it, wasn't there. Don't know but yeah it, it looks like it has weight on it so these aren't just empty boxes stacked up together and really for something like this no one's going to spend all this effort to stack it and then put it onto a pallet and then plastic wrap it all they're just probably going to dump it as is now the shadows also on like there's a wrapper near a, a blanket like there's a there's an empty pallet really close to the camera and there's like a wrapper or something on top and the shadow does line up correctly so could it be like, you know, I'm again, I'm just trying to see if the picture first is real. I think the picture is probably real. Um, it does look a little bit weird to me, though, just out of the place. If you think about it, the whole landfill has a bunch of stuff on it, like decomposed cardboard, whatever. And suddenly there's just like fresh five pallets worth of magic cars dumped there. It looks a little bit out of place. But honestly, maybe that's just how landfills work. I don't work in a landfill, don't have any data. Please, if you, you know this stuff, please let me know if this is how things get dumped or are there like new sections where things get dumped and these are, I don't know. So I would expect it, maybe some other stuff to be dumped around and not just nothing, everything decomposed and then magic cards. Seems a little bit weird to me. Uh, it's almost like they were gonna dump it and then clean it up later, which we'll, uh, we'll talk about my theory a little bit later too about what this is. So again, the, the image looked a little sketchy. 
Um, and just for like added, you know, sprinkles of truth, if you look really close on the bottom side of the image, there are two magic cards that are kind of like a little bit burnt or something on the side. So originally I was thinking, why don't they just set this thing on fire? Had this been a picture of those palettes, but also on fire, I feel like it would make a little bit more sense, especially given something of such high value. You really want to be able to dispose it and have proof of disposal. This is not disposal. If you throw boxes full of cards, unpacked, whatever, there's an outer packaging, an inner packaging, that's not destroying the package. That's not destroying the product. That's literally just setting it into a landfill as storage, if you will. So seems a little bit off, um, but those magic cards do look a little bit like burnt almost. So I don't know what that's all about. Seems a little bit weird. There's something strange about this photo. Anyway, so <clears throat> what are my thoughts? I, I think Watsi did actually dump this product. I think this is Watsi dumping the product. Now, first of all, probably why not dump onto Amazon, give it to all the people who want to buy and really cheap, you know, whatever. Um, two reasons. One is why? Why dump it onto Amazon when you could just throw it into the garbage landfill and then take a tax write off on this thing? So a lot of companies will do that because again, it's just beneficial for them. It's um, easier, if you will. You could instantly get rid of everything. And there's a lot of like finagling you can do with tax write off. Um, here's an example for somebody who's like an auditor at IRS. How are they ever going to know what a pallet of blister packs of Modern Horizons 2 is worth? It's pretty much whatever you want to declare as your production cost, as the value of the cards, as design, whatever. And you can tack on all this other stuff onto it as your cost. And that's what you're writing off. So essentially at the end of the day, they're taking maybe a little bit of a haircut, but there's no anger from the community. In fact, this may just create a new scarcity, right? Like, oh, look, they're actually dumping products. And Maybe they're not on the surface emitting inventory issues or overprinting, but if they have data coming out here and there saying, look, we're cutting back print runs and we're destroying old products that were overprinted, it makes it feel like, oh, Watsi's listening to us and they're adjusting everything. And I do think they are listening and I do think they're adjusting, but unfortunately, as a publicly traded company, they have to be very careful with what they say and what they show. So that's why this isn't like, MTG official, we're dumping products onto a Texas landfill. Here's proof of the landfill, right? It's done by some random dude on Reddit. Hey, I found this palette of whatever. I mean, just feels really like opportunistic, right? And the other thing is I always ask whenever this happens, like we're in 2023, who doesn't have a camera that's like super high quality? If I saw this palette, you know, guys, I, I have this camera here. I take it with me and we go up the hill. We start ripping things open, right? And I'm probably going to start listing those cards on eBay in the fucking landfill. Okay. Yes, I am that. I am that greedy of a goblin. Okay. So yes, absolutely. We're going to do this. But this guy just kind of like, I mean, he knows enough to hear, sorry, he or she knows enough that this is magic cards. And it's kind of valuable but doesn't know enough to just start, I don't know, emptying the boxes onto a truck. It seems really weird. Like it's, you know, where is this? Tell us, you know, tell us where the landfill is. Have us all go investigate and we'll figure it out, you know? Uh, but yeah, there's just, again, it's just pictures. There's three pictures total. They're not very descriptive. One picture of the whole landfill and then one more of somebody opening cards on their lap, which I can do that too. So that doesn't really prove to me that this is like a, a dump of any sort or whatever. Again, like, Basically, this is telling me that Watsi's dumping products and they're trying to do it secretly. But that what even that theory is a little bit weird because I think a lot of companies, large companies, whenever they need to dump things like this, they use like professional services to do this. So when I worked for a uh, hedge fund back in East Coast, the way that we got rid of like secret documents or anything, I, I, in fact, I think all of our trash cans were secure trash cans in that sense. Like if we throw it in the trash can, it's going to get shredded and that shredded material gets handled by like some high security people. Like literally I would walk down the hall at work and I would sometimes catch these people coming through the hallway and they, they come in, there's a dude who does the trash can stuff, but he has two security dudes with him, watching him, making sure he is only taking the things inside the security trash can, putting them into his secure trash can. And there's like locks on the thing. I mean, this is the level of things, how, you know, how things get handled when they are at that level. Now, you can say, hey, this isn't, you know, if, if financial information, tax documentation, trade secrets, whatever, but it kind of is though, right? Like imagine if you're, you print money, right? And you have some defective money. You wouldn't just like dump pallets of money into the landfill. You probably make sure that's shredded, that's burnt, 
proof of like all the destruction, everything, line of custody up the ass all the way to, you know, whoever destroyed it. You, you definitely need to do that, right? Magic cards, you got to remember, are like money for WotC. It doesn't matter how much they don't want to emit a secondary value, all that secondary market value, that these cards are just for, you know, game, fun game pieces and that they charge $400 a box for, their value. They're not going to destroy it just by throwing it to the landfill and be like, oh, I don't know what happened to those boxes. Ha, ha, ha. So it's really weird. Like, I, part of me thinks it is WotC doing this secretly. Part of me thinks this is like a leak by WotC intentionally. But the other part of me says, like, so did they do something afterwards? Maybe they did this. They dumped it there, took a picture, leaked it on the internet, and then actually securely destroyed it. But either way, it does look like it's magic cards. It does look like it's probably full. And it does look like it's being destroyed. So regardless of anything, it means past products that they've already made. Um, yeah. Now, looking at the photos, I couldn't really tell, but I think, you know, there could be, I, I know like with Commander Legends Boulder Skate, we had really bad print issues with the Cardamundi uh, factories, print printers. I mean, the cards basically weren't even cut right. Like you, some of those cards, you couldn't even fit into a KMC Perfect. It just doesn't fit. It was stressed with plastic. It will bend the card. It does not work. Like there was so much printer problems with that set. Um, maybe that's what this was. Maybe this is part of that same batch that was printed. Maybe the Horizon, Modern Horizons 2 ones had some issues too. I, I only opened like the first set from Japan. I did not touch the, the English print ones later. So I have no clue if that's what actually happened with Modern Horizons 2. Um, yeah, so let's see. What else did I not cover here? Okay, so yeah, did, did my prediction come true? So if you guys have not been following, I have been making a series of videos called uh, Solo Games Fixes Watsi. And in, I think, the first video I made, this is like last year, um, I talked about what I would do if I ran Wizards of the Coast. And the first thing I would literally do is go and burn a bunch of the products to show people that we care about overprinting we care that inventory levels are high and we're doing something about it and make a big publicity stunt about it too. Um, now, they didn't do it officially, but in some ways, it's almost like they are doing exactly that, showing that publicity stunt because they, they can't unprint what's in the past. Even if they're adjusting print runs for the future, the things that have been printed are printed, so they can only destroy afterwards. But imagine what happens when you destroy products. So first of all, it's a signal that they're not going to print any more of those cards because otherwise, why would they destroy the cards if they are gonna print more, right? It's a lot of cost to do this. So that's good. That does give a little bit more confidence in the market. And if we believe these are all Modern Horizons 2, that may signal something for Modern Horizons 2 cards, which may be beneficial for the people who currently hold sealed positions in them. Me, maybe. Um, yeah, and it's, it's cool because it's kind of like a signal for change for the future. It almost tells me that Wiz of the Coast understands the problems now, maybe. Um, even if they don't want to publicly admit it, they understand the solution is not to sell a box for $120 to LGS and then resell that same box to Amazon for uh, $40, bucks, right? And then Amazon can then sell it to the, the, you know, the people, the masses, whatever, for $70. It just seems like a really weird situation they've put themselves into where if they dictate that their product have a certain value, they really can't undervalue it. And so for them, there's a lot of benefit to burning this, destroying it, taking the tax write off rather than dumping on Amazon, which again, 100% I agree with. That does not mean though that there will not be more dumps in the future, especially if there's inventory glut and if they just need to make their top line numbers look higher. Because remember, if they keep destroying products you know, as a tax write off, that only increases their profit because again, it negates uh, kind of like as a cost um, and it de deducts their taxes, but it really does not de increase their top line. And as a company, Wizards of the Coast has to walk the super tight um, rope right now where they are a billion dollar brand, Magic Gathering. And, you def and they are the cash cow of the entire company, Hasbro. Meaning if Magic Gathering loses money, holy shit, shit it's, the stock's gonna go tumbling down, right? they have to make sure that their top line stays at a 1 billion mark this year as well, 2023. And so they have to start engineering different ways to do that that does not involve destroying product, printing less product, charging the same price. We may see increases in prices, decreases in quantity, right? This kind of stuff. We may see other things where they're just trying to bring back more confidence in the market. Honestly, I think they need to make the market bigger because right now I think the market for Magic is somewhat saturated and the people who have cards have lost a lot of confidence in the new product, you know? So why pay all this money for new product when the next set is gonna have a better card, you know, 
different printing really just crash the market altogether. So I think they recognize it. I think they're trying to make some adjustments with it. Um, yeah. And again, we'll, we'll only find out when we find out, which I think right now we'll you know look forward and see what happens with Firexia All Be One, which is selling super well right now. But let's see how many more print runs we're going to get. Also, the Lord, new Lord of the Rings set will speak wonders as to kind of what adjustment they're going to make because, again, that's going to be a big risky product. There's a lot of upside, but there's also a lot of potential downside as well. And of course, it is a different brand and shattering another per, another brand is going to be pretty devastating for Magic as well and for any future collaboration between the two. And, you know, because both are high fantasy um, storylines and backgrounds, there's actually a lot of collaboration they could be doing in the future. So they definitely don't want to screw it up with the Lord of the Rings. Cool. All right, that's going to do for me for today. Mark Solo Games, I'm out. Good luck and uh, see you next time. Stay classy.